Hi, good afternoon everybody. It's Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. No tutorial today. Um, just a silly little um, outing that my husband Ian and Maxwell and I had this morning. Uh, we just got back not too long ago. Um, but that's to come. Um, we're going to share that with you. Um, but first of all, the sort of the first most important uh, thing that's happened to, to us as a, as a family here living in Pennsylvania um, and having started my YouTube channel and the friends and the companionship and the community that I feel um, has sort of uh, solidified around our little family. We are so very, very blessed to have loyal followers, subscribers, um, friends who follow our, my little silly little channel. Um, whatever I do, the little quilting things I do, um, our little silly stories, um, you seem to like it, the ones that like it, and it, it, we are so very, very appreciative. Um, as you know, we have been documenting, for whatever reason, it's, I guess, pandemic fatigue and boredom, um, the little construction and the reconstruction and the goings on of, a, of a, our little historic, not our, a little historic bridge at the end of our road here. Our road has been closed off for the last two, two or three months now. Um, and our bridge, which is a 110 year old bridge, blah, 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 um, has, is, is not nearing completion, but maybe halfway done. Oh, um, by the way, I'm going to be making a playlist of all the little videos showing the progress from how the bridge was, the before to, to the during to hopefully the after, which will be nice. So there will be a playlist, playlist, um, Ian and Jean's historic bridge. Um, so, uh, as I, I said, we've been documenting it and a lot of people are, are, are interested in it for whatever reason. Um, it is a bit of fascinating little slice of history. As you know, our home was inundated with it, at one point, not when we've lived here, not when our son lived here, but it has been inundated with flooding and the bridge is supposed to take care of that situation, blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it will. Hopefully it will. I don't know. Um, but we've not had a drop of water in our home since we've lived here uh, a little, uh, about a year and a month ago, we've lived here. Uh, if you have if you followed our downsizing um, ordeal, and our move from our other home. We are settled in our lovely home here, but that is a worry. So the bridge is, a, is something. Now, um, I just want to sort of back up. Um, through the last two or three years, the, uh, certain individuals have, all of you have been very kind in your comments and um, your support, but I just want to mention uh, just a couple of people, and you know who you are. There was Chip and Aaron, um, there is Carol, and Shari several times, and now Anita, who have actually sent us some goodies. We've been blessed with some goodies, Maxwell in particular. As you know, Maxwell is our 21-year-old autistic son, um, our 21-year-old son who happens to have some challenges. Um, and he loves his Hot Wheels, and he loves his blenders, and he loves his Starbucks, and people have been so kind and you actually sent Maxwell Hot Wheels and Starbucks gift card and his blender. Unbelievable. Stickers. So, so very kind. He's blown away. He's blown away like what? And um, he's so very, very grateful. Um, he was a bit embarrassed. I said, come on the video and thank you. And I, I get Maxwell when he's, he had to go lay down. We had a very big day. But I'm making this because I wanted to especially thank Anita. Anita in Southwest London, you know who you are. Anita's been following my channel and um, she had asked mm, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weeks ago for me to make a trip around the world quilt. Well, to be honest, you know that whole story, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't want to make a trip around the world quilt. <laughs> <laughs> no, Anita, sorry. And um, I, I said, oh, yeah, I'll put it on my list. And then and I think she asked again, Anita, you asked again, could you make a trip around the world quilt? So finally, long story short, I made the trip around the world quilt, however many videos ago, just a small little quilt. I figured it out because I thought, oh, it's hard. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but I figured it out and I did it. Well, Anita has since made her trip around the world quilt. But Anita has also in regard to my bridge, our little bridge project here, Anita, I just received this. We just received this in the mail. 
it's a hand painted image of the 110 year old bridge as it were as it used to be Anita painted that and sent a beautiful card with a lovely lovely sentiments that I will read it's called ye old bridge dear Jean hope you like the painting of your old bridge this is just to say thank you for showing me how to do the trip around the world quilt. I want to cry. All the best, Anita. And there you go. It's signed. We have an original. And I'm, Ian and I were so moved that somebody would take the time and the effort to do that for us and to document that precious piece of our little history that is no longer there. It'll be okay. But that image was taken from footage that I had, I had videoed. You can go back again on the playlist and save the actual footage. And Anita put it, put watercolor and painting to card and sent us this beautiful, this beautiful work of art. And we were just absolutely blown away. Absolutely blown away. And I just want to thank all of you, especially the ones who have thought of Maxwell and gifted him his goodies and for our precious, our little precious heirloom here, Anita. Thank you so much. I'm going to cry, but never mind. Um, speaking of bridges, <laughs> what is it with me and bridges, right? And Maxwell and I, we had to get out of the house. Ian and Maxwell and I, I'm like, I got to get out of this house. Um, so I, for some reason, I thought of, of, of the um, area, we live in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Um, or we're close to Bucks County, Pennsylvania, I should say. We used to live in Bucks County. We don't. We, we live in the next county over. Um, but there are a lot of covered bridges. And again, if you're not interested, click off. But I just thought, I said, let's go visit a couple of the covered bridges in our area. I've seen them before. But I thought, well, the people are at, people you sitting at home, you're interested in this little, our little bridge thing here. And I thought if you've not been to the area um, or you don't know sort of, uh, what Pennsylvania they're they're known for again every every area is known for something Pennsylvania is known for its historic farmhouses which I've shown you um, our son two of our sons own historic farmhouses but also Um, covered bridges and I'm going to be sharing some still photographs of things the pictures I got off a line which are in the summertime um, but then the pictures the video that we just took of the the two little covered bridges that we just we just went to but I just wanted to um, I wanted to uh, read you this again I got it off the internet the history of covered bridges in Pennsylvania at one point, it is estimated that Pennsylvania was home to more than 1,500 covered bridges. However, advances in technology, types of vehicles, and the amount of traffic has reduced this number to just over 200. This was fascinating. The first bridge, we're about 45 minutes north of Philadelphia. The first covered bridge in the United States was built over the Schuylkill River in Philadelphia in 1805 and was known as the Permanent Bridge. This bridge located above present-day Market Street next to 30th Street Station was destroyed by fire in 1875. It was interesting because I used to work down on Market Street and there's the bridge that is now a big concrete, you know, massive huge bridge. That used to be the first covered bridge in America. How awesome. Fire, particularly arson, is one of the major causes of covered bridge loss. In recent years, several bridges have been destroyed by arson, uh, blah, blah, blah. As I was just re as I was just pulling up this these, this information from the internet, 
what popped up but four days ago in Vermont, oh, a covered bridge burned down and there's actual footage of it taken from afar. Someone's photographing the side. What happened was a snowmobile in this snow that we've had here up in Vermont, a snowmobile caught fire inside the wooden covered bridge and they were frantically apparently trying to put it out with snow from the banks. Well, the whole wooden bridge went up in flames, fire, and the whole thing collapsed four days ago. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I believe they, that was, bridge was about 98 foot long. Um, the, today, the long, that was terrible. So people in Vermont, oh, it must be terrible. These historic bridges, boom, gone. Um, today, the longest bridge in Pennsylvania can be, can be found in Juniata County. The Academy, Acad, Academia Pomeroy Covered Bridge is 278 feet in length. Oh my word. Um, Pennsylvania's covered bridges are usually built primarily using a Burr Arch Truss. This, this truss was designed by Theodore Burr in 1804 and is the style used in more than half of the remaining covered bridges in Pennsylvania. The reason I'm reading this is that we've just taken video. Um, Ian was videoing. I was driving um, of the actual construction. We go under two different bridges. We have gone under the first bridge we went under, which I will, I will put up the video, is called Cabin Run Covered Bridge. It's in Pipersville, Pennsylvania. Um, the Cabin Run Covered Bridge crosses Cabin Creek, downstream from the, L the Locks Covered Bridge. Built by David Sutton in 1871, the bridge has a length of 82 feet and is 15 foot wide. It has vertical board siding on the sides, porter, and interior walls. The decking is on the diagonal. The sides have no windows, making it quite dark inside. The creek's name was derived from log cabins and small stone, small stone houses that were built along the creek. During the Revolutionary War, this area was frequented by the Doan Boys, notorious Tory outlaws who lived nearby. It's a very historic area. That's what I'm getting to. The Cabin Creek Bridge has a wooden plank floor, uh, you know, yeah, floor. Um, the, the, the other bridge that we walked through, which was more traffic, we, there was a, quite a lot of traffic, um, is called the Pine Valley Covered Bridge. This bridge is only about 15 minutes away from our home where we live here. The Pine Valley Covered Bridge, near Doylestown, Pennsylvania. It's, less, it's located less than a 10 mile drive outside of Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Pine Valley Covered Bridge sits in a scenic area along a busy road. <laughs> the bridge spans 81 feet over Pine Run Creek along the border of Doylestown in New Britain. Pine Valley Covered Bridge was built in 1842, repaired in 2007 after it was damaged by an overheight truck. They only have a height. This one has a height of nine foot nine inches. The other one had a height of nine foot. Oh, this this is nine foot five inches. The other one had a height of nine foot nine inches. So uh, some truck driver thinks he's smart to get across the creek. Smashed it. Smashed it. The bridge sits next to Covered Bridge Park, a small community park in New Britain. Blah blah blah. Also, we had thought that it was this bridge uh, not too long ago in the news, a bridge uh, we had thought was in our area, and we mistakenly say it in the video that it was vandalized. We thought it was this one. It wasn't. It was a bridge in another part of Pennsylvania that was vandalized, was spray painted with horrible, horrible images not too long ago, about, about six years ago. Um, we thought it had burned down, but that was another one. That was another one. But one was vandalized, but it was, these are pretty much on the historic register in Pennsylvania. Um, there's not, not too many of them left, but as you can, as you will see with the video, <laughs> um, the Pine Valley covered bridge, boy, people were flying through it. <laughs> we're trying to video this picturesque little bridge, this country bridge. People are flying through it back and forth. Max always tried to, to, uh, to, um, direct traffic and uh at one point and i think i think he says it in the video he says boy people are very rude he's like trying to be like oh you can come i mean we're just flying past them anyway that so we got we've got a little bit disconcerted and um 
but that was our that was our day we thought oh it was so nice and at the pine valley um, area the little park there's a pretty little gazebo and again i'm going to be putting pictures up of us standing there just one um and then in the summertime it's a real yeah photo opportunity pretty with the lake um the, the pretty little pond i should say and the pond was covered up today and it was ice and there were kids i thought they were ice skating on it maxwell said they just had shoes on it. i thought they were ice skating a very picturesque so um yeah so we really enjoyed that we got some fresh air um it was real real nice we, we did get a little bit lost um because we are the the gps my husband's gps took us all around the houses and i'm thinking i know where this place is it's 20 10 minutes from here and it's on a it's on a little road that the one road was closed anyway we got there that was to the pine valley and it's sweet so anyway just our little day again not a tutorial i just thought you'd be interested in that a little covered covered bridge society of bucks county um yeah to, i think it would be pr actually pretty cool to go visit them all they all sort of look alike they, i must say they all sort of look alike um but real sweet, real sweet. So I do hope you enjoy this. And again, bridges, bridges, bridges. But boy, boy, oh boy, that. That little work of art done for us by Anita. You don't know how we treasure that. And all you other people who are supporting us and who comment so nicely and um, who seem to be enjoying me and my family, um, we're very, very blessed. And we thank you very, very much. We're very grateful. So, I hope you enjoy this video. Now, right, see ya. Bye. All right, we're driving around on this Saturday in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And I just thought we'd show you these, these beautiful, this beautiful area because um, our bridge, where we live, people say, oh, you live in such a pretty area. Bucks County is sort of famous for these big old stone farmhouses. And if you remember my little, my last little history lesson on why houses were built so close to the road, here's another an example. I'm with Ian and Maxwell in the car and we're going down to, there's a pretty little house, sort of a colonial probably built house. There's one, but this is a very beautiful road um, in sort of upper Bucks County, Pennsylvania. We're going down to a creek and it's called the Cabin Run Creek. As you can see, we still have lots of snow on the ground. The further up we get upstate, it's sort of uh, maybe two foot of snow because the snow fell a week or so ago. But as you can see, hopefully you can see what we are coming up to. that sign over there there's a pretty little original again slowly original farmhouse one of the original farmhouses perhaps from the 1800s spring house there look yeah there's the spring house and what do we have here oops <laughs> we have a car flying we have a covered bridge this is the County of Bucks Cabin Run Covered Bridge. And I'm going to, um, there's no cars behind me. Um, there's, there's a history. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna go through this covered bridge. We have um, quite a few of them in Bucks County. I'm gonna give you the history when I get back. I'm gonna read a little history lesson <laughs> that we were fascinated with. But this is the covered bridge. This was built in 1871. 150 years ago. The clearance is nine foot nine inches high. The length is 82 foot long. And again, the, um, the, way, the, build, the way the bridges were constructed, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read about that. I'm gonna read about that and when I get home. But these, what are they called? Trusses or something? Can, I don't know if you can see that. It's very dark in here. Yeah. The way it's constructed, 1871. Awesome. As you can see, it's a motoring bridge, one lane. That would have been for the horses and buggies coming through over the creek. And the creek looks like it's the creek frozen. Looks like the creek is frozen. Yeah. 
So that is a sweet little covered bridge. And then as you can see, we're, we've come down. There's, it's almost a slight hill, not a mountain or anything, but a slight hill there. And then again, these are the, the little roads of Bucks County. Thank you, you're doing a good job, Ian. This large hill, we're gonna go, we've traveled down. Dan, you can't really see the creek. We've traveled down and now the road and look at that driveway. And look at that. They have a natural stone um, wall either side of their driveway. Looks like a That's a tremendous amount of work. Clever masonry, hand built. Oh, there's the creek. Of course. Oh yeah. That's a that's a fairly wide looking creek. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, that's flowing a good one. So now we're climbing again. This is more, this is almost, uh, almost a one way, <laughs> a one lane road here. We like to drive around Bucks County. There's some very, very pretty areas here. Oh wow, look at that rock formation. Oh my goodness. These wow. massive boulders. That's a nice boulder. That is a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that pretty farmhouse over there. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, these houses have been here forever. I'm trying to keep the camera, my driving steady. <laughs> oh, it's a pretty beautiful road. As you can see, we got tons of snow, but the, the roads are cleared. <laughs> Even a country road like this, the plows come along very quickly. Although, it's pretty much one lane. I don't know what I'm going to do if another car comes <laughs> comes real close. You can get by. But um, just, that boulder up there. That's a nice boulder. Look, look at that boulder. Can you see that, Matt? Look at the ice, look at the icicles. <laughs> the water has frozen down that little waterfall. That boulder, boy oh boy. That's up on, oh here comes a car. Now what am I going to do? Okay, what am I gonna do here? Can I get over? Can't really get over. Okay, that's it. Much. That's it. Thank you. Oh, mate. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the creek is so pretty. Oh, so very pretty. There's another little waterfall sort of frozen. That's a fairly wide creek. And it's flowing quite well. Mm. Well, I don't know where we are. What township's this? Um, Maxwell, what township? What does it say? Uh, Pipers. Pipers. Pipersville? Pipersville. That's above where our boys live. There's mallard ducks on the creek. How on earth do they keep warm? Keep warm. I was just going to say that, yeah. Well, I guess because they're down, uh, the, the feathers are... I have are a video down. and an article that I've seen before on how Ducks aquatic birds keep, warm. keep their feet and legs warm. Perhaps you can uh, yeah, share cool. it with your friends sometime. Yeah, maybe I will. I'll look it up. Oh, look at them, look at them uh, sledding. Yeah, that's sweet. They're, they're, they're sledding. Let me go here. Let me go here, buddy. Uh, thank you. So this is, oh, this is a park. And there's, yeah, so we're coming up to civilization here. What a nice sledding hill. Now oh, that's pretty cool. It's a nice sledding hill. Okay. Um, again, here we go. Oof, it was close. Um, there we go. So this is Stover's Mill Park. Oh, and again, as you can see, Pennsylvania farmhouses from as I was talking before, look how close they are on the road. And that is because this land 
the land around them would have been either farmed or whatever um, and they built the houses so very close and the acreage would be behind look at this beautiful farmhouse here this is a mill Stover's Myers mill it used to be water powered by the creek and look how close this is to the car <laughs> that house that building that so is. when the inhabitants would get off their horse-drawn yeah. carriages or carts they could just step off and go straight into their homes or places of work so this is the Tohican Creek here we come up another bridge Hi everybody, everybody, it's Jean, Ian. Maxwell, and Ian. We're going for a walk today. We're um, exploring some of the back roads of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. And we... Oh, I'm, are you okay? I'm very smart on walking on ice <laughs> right now. Very smart. We wanted, to show, um, we wanted to show you some of our pretty countryside. People say, oh, you such pretty countryside. Just wanted to show you that. That is a, a snow-covered lake where just a few minutes ago some kids were ice skating on it. Um, no, 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 they weren't. They were just like kind of. Oh, they were walking on it. it. Yeah, they, they were playing were on it. I thought they had ice skates on. No, they didn't. They didn't have ice skates no. on. Okay. A but, minor detail. Yeah, a minor detail. Um, so. I got snow on my nice shoes. Oh, Max, <laughs> what shoes do you have on today? Oh, you got your blue shoes on. Yeah. So, uh, we are in, it's called New, New Britain, for all you British people out there. Covered Bridge Park. And we are coming up to, let me turn this around. Hey, We're coming up to a sweet little covered bridge where you can walk now and the bridge is 15 foot wide and 81 foot long and it was built in this one was built in 1842 1842 and I'm going to give you a now again I'm going to give you a little bit of history when we get back but here's the creek covering so for 150 years That's a nice that is a nice creek milliseconds oh. we say the same thing oh, it's, and there's a little footbridge over there very pretty peaceful area we will narrate the history Dad, get over. but for engineers who love their trust rafters this is a particular design of trust rafter we have from 1842. 
So obviously the metal grate Can that we are I walking on. Thank you. I let the guide by. The metal grate that we're walking on here, you can see the newer. creek is newer. Obviously, it's not the bed of the bridge. Slightly disconcerting walking on it <laughs> because oh. we are over. Oh, oh, you're fine. You're, you're, you're not five tons, are you? Oh, stop! <laughs> Watch out, Daddy. Bad. Watch out, Ian. Bridge is taking, it's able to take five tons. But originally, I was just guessing. A, a long um, joist or beam, whatever you want to call it, made out of one or two trees on each side that were 81 foot long, plus obviously the bearing surfaces, and then they would have been joists. For the wooden floor. And boards, wood boards in between the two tree beams. Quite astounding. Of course, back then they wouldn't have taken five tons or needed to. Because it would the have been a tra tra traffic duty. Not yeah, the traffic, traffic duty back then would have just. The bridge. Yeah, the traffic back then would just have been. Horse and buggies. Horse and buggies, cattle. Of course. with this thing if it were, were to break oh it, it, it's not gonna break honey it's been yeah. here 150 years <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, um, hey what, what if it did collapse on well what if it did oh you're, you're so cheerful maxwell <laughs> being so cheerful is what keeps you going look up in the rafters isn't that something else that's, that's a nice rafter <laughs> it's so it's so cool though here we are in a 150 year old bridge. What is us with me and bridges, do documenting bridges? But I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Bridges of Bucks County, Pennsylvania. If you ever want to come to Bucks County, Pennsylvania? And that is the, what is the creek? What is that creek? I don't know, it's one of them, the Chamonix uh, tributes tributaries. So ours the is Chamonix. A, the, the, the Neshaminy Creek, yeah. yeah. Ours is a tri tributary of the Neshaminy. Yep. Yep. So there you go. Pine Valley Covered Bridge. Built in 1842. The nine foot five inches. Here is a photo op place. Is it yours? Everybody just so miserable. <laughs> even okay. when, okay. even when like, he was guiding them through on either side, they isn't were that, just isn't miserable. That a sad, isn't that a sad reflection of our times? What's we're that? In, well, we're in such a pretty place. Max was trying to sort of guide the folks through the bridge because we were walking through it. There was some traffic. And he said, everybody's so miserable. <laughs> and it's such a pretty place we're at. But um, yeah, they just don't, I don't know. Go on there. <laughs> such a pretty, pretty little lake there. Yes. Isn't that lovely? I have come from a wedding because Oh, maybe they're taking photographs. And his suit oh, yes. As a boutonniere. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're taking. They're taking pictures, perhaps, in this little gazebo, where we took some pictures. That's lovely.
Oh, anyway. It's cold. It is cold out today. Yeah, we're all bundled up. And uh, yeah, just thought we'd like to share those things with you folks. All right, we'll see ya. <laughs>